Hi, my name is Mr. Schultz. I teach uh, agricultural mechanics here at Golden West. I'm in charge of the Ag Mechanics Pathway. So, if you enroll in Ag Mechanics, this is a class that you can take all four years because we have Ag Mechanics 1, 2, 3, and 4. In Ag Mechanics 1, you will learn some of the basic skills of welding, electricity, woodworking, and we'll also have the uh, manufacturing component to it as well, where you'll learn a little bit about 3D printing and computer aided drawing. Then in Ag Mechanics 2, you, get, you dive deeper into welding. You'll learn a lot more about MIG welding, TIG welding, a lot of different things that uh, you will use in the welding industry and in the agricultural industry. You go over small gas engines, you go over uh, computer aided drawing. Then in the, in the advanced classes, that's when we really get to start doing the uh, fabrication projects, like uh, some fire pits. We've had students make trailers, livestock trailers, a lot of bigger projects, small projects, it doesn't matter. Now, a lot of the skills that you learn in here, you'll use for the rest of your life, regardless if you, use, if you uh, choose a career in agriculture or not. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Escamilla and I'm one of the ag teachers here at Golden West. I teach two different pathways. One of them is the ornamental horticulture pathway, where some of the classes you will take would be um, intro to horticulture and then the other one would be advanced horticulture and in those classes you'll learn a variety of things um, including soil, uh, pest control management, Plan. planting, transplanting, uh, propagations um, as well as general greenhouse management um, and then also some of the other things that you can be involved in here at Golden West include SAE projects. Um, SAE stands for supervised agricultural experience and through those you can have a wide array of projects. Some of them include our more common ones which are livestock projects where you can house those projects here at Golden West if you are unable to or house them at home. Other projects that we have here uh, for SAEs include um, some orchard maintenance uh, of the orchard that we have here on our campus as well as some of the garden, um, garden bed maintenance that we have here on campus as well. If you have any questions, you can contact me at F-E-S-C-A-M-I-L-L-A -L -L at BUSD.org. So the other pathway that I teach is Ag Manufacturing. Um, this is a three, um, this is a new pathway. It's going to be three courses. The first course is going to be a, sh a course that I share with Mr. Schultz. It's Ag Mechanics and Manufacturing. Um, and after that course, you would be able to make a choice of continuing into the Ag Mechanics pathway or coming over to the Ag Manufacturing pathway. Um, in this pathway, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on 3D printing. Primarily, we have a few 3D printers. We have a laser engraver. We also have a CNC machine, which stands for Computer Numerical Control. And so here's where you learn a lot of the manufacturing aspect of agriculture, as well as just our regular daily life. You'll learn um, different practices that are used in the engineering industry, as well as in the agriculture mechanics and manufacturing industries as well. Um, at the end of your third year, you will complete the pathway uh, with the course that we are still working on to finalize the, the last steps of that course. And if you have any questions, if your parents have any questions about the Ag Mechanics pathway, the, uh, the Horticulture pathway, or SAEs or FFA, you're, you can contact me at my email. Everybody. I'm Miss Tiesman. I'm the animal science teacher here at Golden West. Um, a few things about um, our chapter here is we have a rather large FFA chapter and uh, by being part of an ag class in my animal science pathway here you will be part of the FFA. Um, there are judging teams, speaking teams, leadership teams, all kinds of things you can be in, in, um, involved in as well as um, extracurricular activities as well. Um, I personally, I would coach job interview and I coach the vet science team. So if you're interested in animal science and veterinary science, um, that is something you can be involved in. It includes traveling and all kinds of good times with friends. Um, through my pathway, I start off with an introductory or introduction to agriculture. Um, and that is where you learn about California commodities. You learn all about the FFA, everything it encompasses, along with a few things here and there just based off the different pathways here at Golden West. Beyond that, I teach agriculture biology, which is basically your biology class with an ag twist on it. We talk a little bit about the industry here and there. And of course, we do come out here to the school farm for a few experiments. Um, moving on through that pathway, I teach animal science, where you get hands-on learning here with our flock. We have sheep, goats, tortoises, geese, chickens. We've got everything out here for you to learn with. Um, we're going to go basically through the um, 
the systems of livestock, um, mainly with a focus on sheep and goats, because that's what we have right here for you guys to work with. Um, so beyond animal science, we'll have veterinary science um, would be your fourth year or your senior year in ag, where we take care of the sheep and goats. We do vaccinations, deworming. When we have lambs and goats, we will have them out here in the barn. You guys would all take care of those um, and basically help us run the flock out here. Um, so if you're interested in animal science and maybe going into a career of veterinary science and beyond that, um, the animal science pathway is definitely the one that you are going to want to select. If you or your parents have any questions or comments or concerns, go ahead and send me an email at jtisman at vusd.org. Hello Broncos, my name is Mr. Villalobos. I am your industrial education teacher for Woodshop and Building Construction Trades. In my class, you're going to learn how to utilize all these tools behind me and all the amazing power equipment that you can't see over here. We learn about wood shop, we learn about forestry and civil culture and safety. Number one important thing in our introductory course, we do hand tools and hand plane. We learn about how we're making furniture and the basics of woodworking that you can utilize anywhere in the world. And our second course is our advanced wood shop class. That's where we utilize construction and building trades. We uh, go into competitions such as the COS trades. We do Skills USA and we learn about how to construct a whole house. We make model houses. In our third year of wood shop, we learn about cabinetry and millworking, which means the finer tuning aspects of everything and that is the path that you choose. To finish off your carpentry education here at Golden West, we're gonna learn lives the cabinetry and millworking process for the finer tune of things. This is our third Keystone course in our building construction trades. If this interests you and you have any questions, please contact me, Mr. Villalobos, at avillalobos at vusd.org. Thank you, Barcos. I hope to see you soon. Uh, hello, uh, future students of mine. Uh, my name is Sergio Ledesma. Uh, we're here at Golden West Auto Shop. Uh, I teach automotive technology. Uh, we have two different programs you can choose from. If you're barely now, if you're barely getting started with us, you're you're going to take a look at the Intro to Automotive Technology. Uh, Intro to Auto will teach you all of your basic hand tools. Uh, we have shop equipment. You'll learn how to take off tires with our tire machines. Uh, we have a lot of equipment here that you'll have to run through and we'll make sure that we'll teach you how to use it safely. Now, once you get past all of that, we have a really special thing we teach here. We teach you how to make a living for yourself and how to actually write your own paycheck. So if you're interested in working on cars and you're interested in making a couple bucks out of it, then maybe you would want to come back for my advanced class. And then the advanced class is where it all comes together. We take all that previous knowledge from your first year in intro and then you get to apply it right away. Um, let's see, my intro class is probably about 50% hands-on, 50% book work, uh, where my advanced class is about 80 to 90% hands-on. So if you like getting dirty, you like working with your hands, maybe you like working with vehicles or equipment, maybe motorcycles, lawnmowers, whatever it is, we can help you grow as a person and we'll have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, we have gorgeous tools that we work with. This is some of our prized possessions. Uh, beyond us, we have more tools and we have tons of vehicles for you to practice on. Again, uh, we usually have a lot of fun around here. If you're interested, come take a look at what we have to offer. We're here at Golden West Auto Shop uh, here at the high school. If you're looking to email me, it's sledesma at vusd.org. We have to gather some ideas for new products. We're saying we're so unique, but we need to back it up with a unique product. If we're gonna get rid of the tent, we need to add a different tent. That's something you wouldn't see commonly. Hey Alexis, come check this out. It's a tent, but it looks like a car. Will we be able to make a good enough profit off of it? Welcome to the Business Finance Academy. I want to join the Business Finance Academy because I've always wanted to start my own business. I always thought it was cool to be able to be independent and make your own money. Your clients, your boss, you have deadlines to 
fill and it's sometimes it's not easy but it's fun. In the beginning, students can expect to learn foundational business skills and to get a good overview of the many careers that are available in different business fields. They will tackle subjects like personal finance, the stock market, and economics, and later learn more about entrepreneurship and accounting. You learn how to manage your money a lot better, you know, so you don't lose track or get into debt. As you advance through the academy, we'll bring in mentors from our community that work in various fields. So whatever they really need, I'm there. You know, you can teach somebody the, from A to Z, but all the things in between, sometimes they need somebody who has that experience to guide them through. I am the general manager of the Visalia Convention Center here in Visalia, and I'm just absolutely excited to be here. Virtual Enterprise is our capstone class. As a team, you'll take everything you've learned and apply it to starting your own business. You will create a business plan and have an opportunity to travel throughout the state and compete at trade shows. Instead of like being in classes and classrooms, in this academy you'll go out, you know, you'll go out into the world. Virtual Enterprise is a great experience and we get to go on field trips like this, like we went to Google today. And then we went to Bash Pro Shop, we got an amazing tour, and it was just a great experience for everyone. I was really glad we did it. As an academy student, you'll get the chance to interview for positions within the organization. Some students find their niche in marketing. Or if you're more numbers-based, you might pursue accounting and finance. If you love working with people in the community, you can focus on management and business ownership. There's a place for everyone in the business industry. So Shamar, what would be an expense you think I could reduce off of there? Like reduce your budget on the advertising so you can be a cheaper, more efficient form of advertising. Very good. At first I thought like you'll make money straight off the bat, like you have your own company, you'll be able to travel and do all these things and it's not the truth. You actually have to work for it and be very patient, persistent and make a lot of sacrifices. And without the Business Academy, I don't think I really could have started my company as fast as I did or get it to be as successful as it is. I actually used the notes that I had from business to actually help start my company, do my business plans and everything else. It takes you out of your niche but in a positive manner. You can also gain work experience because every week we work in the student store as well. You also gain confidence, speaking skills. I know in the spot you are right now, I was in the same position as you a few years ago, and I had no idea what I wanted to do. You don't need to know right now. You don't even need to know at my age. But joining BFA will help you discover your passion. You should definitely join the Business Finance Academy. It's a great academy. Truck 51, respond to a residential structure fire. County Center and Harder, County Center and Harder, RDS 9401. Welcome to the Academy of First Responders. When you enter the First Responders Academy, you'll have a normal schedule with some specialty classes built in. Your health class will incorporate emergency medicine. You'll also take a physical fitness course where your physical and mental endurance will be tested and your English assignments might be first responder based. You've got to be able to speak and read clearly for making of reports. You might have to observe a scene and write down what you remember from it. You guys are dispatched to a fight. The aggressor is a white male, approximately 34 years of age, wearing a black sweatshirt, blue jean. That's your call. That's all you got. Oh, hey, police, man. I just got beat up. What are you going to do about it? The First Responders Academy works with the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, the CHP, paramedics, the fire department, and helicopter units. We work with anyone who is on the scene as soon as an accident, natural disaster, or anything catastrophic happens. There's no one telling you any information of what you're going to find there. You don't know if your firefighter, they say, oh, it's a small fire, and then by the time you get there, the whole house is inflamed. You're dealing with people at all different points in their life. We've got to be able to go 100% at any moment's notice. You can't get through this career without having that kind of mentality. When you show up to the scene, you have to be prepared for anything. There could be blood involved or fire raging out of windows. You have to be someone who can separate your personal emotions from your job. If someone's bleeding severely, we're gonna to go to the closest hospital as quickly as possible. This basically takes the place of blood until we can get you to the hospital and they can give you blood. That's what I think a program like this can show you. It's kind of what goes on behind the scenes and what's involved more in going out and doing our job. My name's Ivan, I'm a senior. I really want to be a firefighter, I've always wanted to be. 
every little kid that's their dream. I just always wanted to follow through with that. The people you, when you see them, they're not typically on their best day. So you have to be able to, you know, just understand where they're coming from, help them with their problem. I think those are the two biggest things, is patience and empathy. What are you laughing at, something funny? These ain't my pants. These are Hector's pants. A paramedic has to lift people onto gurneys, which requires strength. To prepare you, our PE class is designed to work you out physically and mentally with obstacle courses and hands-on training. You have to be in shape. You don't know when you're going to have to run on foot to chase somebody. In the First Responders Academy, we work together with local higher education to ensure you'll be prepared for their college programs. Come into the class with an open mind, and I think you'll find that you are going to be a step ahead of your classmates. It's not a job. It's a calling. We want to help people. Everybody has a great deal of respect for law enforcement, fire, ambulance. So if you're interested in changing people's lives and being the person that they want to turn to, you should join the Academy. I think you're gonna have an absolutely wonderful time. Learn as much as you possibly can, and good luck.